the Chateau de la Mar, 78 kilometers southwest of Paris. In its day, part of the glory of the French aristocracy. Now, it's a haunted house, or at least so it is said. These were next to the last tenants. The Marquis de la Mar, his Marquise, and their daughter, whom they called Fleur, next to the last tenants. Because the chateau was occupied briefly in 1943, occupied, according to one report, by both the living and the dead. I was going to say congratulations, Herr General. Your heart attack was an illusion. Rejoin your panzer division at the Eastern Front. Who does he think he's talking to? You should have him whipped. What other doctor would certify that a General is capable of even limited service? Limited service? <laughs> what a joke. Watchdog to a few hundred docile French persons. You really shouldn't complain, a General. France is a charming country. And this historic chateau, and a delightful friend. Is this perhaps why the heart is a bit worse? Here, take this. Tell him why your heart is worse. Your insane ideas. He has been up till two or three o'clock every morning fussing about this stupid party. Party? Really, darling, couldn't you just have packed them off into freight cars and sent them on their way? What's it all about? I got an order from the Labor Ministry in Berlin for 50 workers for some factory in Silesia. So? So, 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 I'm bored. I'm bored, sick. So I decided to do a good deed and to have a little amusement at the same time. Yes. He's going to invite them all here, 50 of them, to the chateau. He will fill them with goose and with champagne, and when they think they're in paradise, trucks will drive up to the front door. And these poor men, in their best Sunday suits, still hiccuping with champagne, will be driven off to the work camps. What a rogue you are. It will be a wonderful party. Yeah. The candles, Herr General, sir, just aren't any. There must be candles for the chandeliers! I'm sorry. There must be candles! Everything must be perfect, exactly as it was. That's the whole point. It is not just a party. It is a fantastic party. The chateau has been a museum for 150 years. Think of it. Can't you see their ox-like faces in the candlelights? In the candlelights! Enter. The musicians arrived from battalion headquarters, sir. Bring them in. Here's the music. Hey, General, we do not know this music. That music. I want every song that was played that night. Do as he says. You look beautiful. 
Do up my dress at the back. The silly maid ran off crying in case she could tear it. When I picked you up in Paris two months ago, this dress would have fitted you perfectly. I'm too good to you. Well, how do I look? Like him? Exactly. And I look like her. Except I can't breathe in her dress. Please, next week, can we have a real party with my friends from Paris and a dance orchestra? I want to show off my German general. What a terrible French woman you are. In a house that represents all the glory of France, you want to show off your German general. Darling, I'm far too fond of luxurious living to be patriotic. Yes, I'm sure you are. It's a weakness with the French. Besides, I'm rather fond of my general. <laughs> what is it? Nothing. Tell me. Nothing. I just feel strange. Strange standing here in their clothes, in their house, reliving their last party. I wonder what really did happen that night. Why were there no more parties? Why did the record suddenly stop? It was the time of the revolution. They probably ran for their lives. Yes. I can't believe it. Musicians from a regimental band? Why did he say he did not know the music? I got it out! I got it out! Stop! I got it out! The lawyer has come back from the town side. Good. The others. I'm sorry, I can't allow. They were told to be in the market square at nine o'clock. We were there with the wagon, but the town is dead. Everyone's gone except him. Who invited the priest? Your soldiers. We thought you might like to question him about the others, you know. Where are they? I do not know. Mm. A heroic priest. Not brave at all, I assure you. No. I see. Where are they? Scattering throughout the countryside. Why? You know why. They found out? Yes. How? Why did you not run away with them? I thought I was safe in my church. You should have run away with the others, priest. Fifty men invited to a party and only one turns up. What can we do? Old, but lean. There should be a few months' work in you. Come, darling. Why not? When the villagers hear about it, they will attack the chateau like wild animals. I know what these people are like about their priests. It would be very silly of you. It would not be silly of me. <laughs> Same. Yes, again. Uh, that would give us something to do, wouldn't it? Yes, again. Uh, 
see what we have. We have copied the original menu completely. We have roasts, partridge pies, boiled capons. <laughs> what a wonderful century that was. For whom? A few thousand people living like that, while 20 million others lived like vermin? But they were vermin. Mama, mama. <laughs> I was upstairs. There was a voice. There was no one in the room. More ghosts. It's something. I don't know why I put up with you. Well, where did the music in here come from? Someone is having a little game. With this. Said they had never worked in his lifetime. I can almost feel the people of this other party. Just as the night we chose to imitate were really happening. is that I am an impatient man. The Polish defenders of Warsaw would tell you that, so would the British army in Libya. I'm absolutely without patience, so when the next miracle occurs, I shall kill you and throw your body onto the lawn. Then your miracle workers can try to bring you back to life. Stop crying! You look ugly when you cry, don't you know that? You look years older. Find the musicians playing. We have not rehearsed the music. Then play it best you can. We cannot play it at all, sir. Do I say? cleverness and ingenuity. Tell the stupid girl how these tricks have been managed, and who knows, perhaps I might be lenient and let you go back to your church. I do not know. You can't be sure he's behind it. Then let us say he's being punished for refusing to say how he knew how to warn the others. I told him. I didn't mean to. I went to the town the other day. I went into the church out of fear. 
palms without knowing it. I, I dipped my fingers into the holy water. I made the sign of the cross. Still without knowing it, I knelt down before the altar. And I prayed. Quite suddenly, I felt more frightened inside the church than out. I started to walk down the aisle. And I saw the confessional box. I walked in. He was there. Maria. I told him then. He could not have told the others without your permission. And you gave it. Bye. So you are a patriot after all. And you must also be behind those little tricks tonight. Was the idea to kill me through fear because of my weak heart? No. You confessed to the priest, but you did not confess to me. What else did you confess to him? Did you confess what it was like living here in this house as an old man with a weak heart? Oh. Huh? Oh. He was behind it all. They are going to try to rescue you. Well, I shouldn't count on it if I were you. The last party here 150 years ago ended with a display of fireworks. Perhaps we shall have some fireworks tonight. If you had gone into our history properly, you would have learned that the first party did not end with fireworks as the Marquis had planned. During the party, a mob of peasants attacked the chateau, screaming for vengeance against the Marquis's tyranny. Father Emil died in 1950 without ever mentioning that night. The German soldiers who were witnesses have of course been scattered by the winds of history. Except one sergeant, Franz Dietrich. Sergeant Dietrich did tell a German newspaper reporter of die Frankfurter Morgen Zeitung all the events you have just seen. Now, of course, everything that happened could have been caused by living patriots, all except the last one, the mob itself, the unseen mob. It is true that on May 17th, 1788, this chateau was attacked by a mob, and the Marquis de la Mar was found in his bedroom, trampled to death. It is also true that on November the 6th, 1943, General Gunter Haltmann of the German Army of Occupation was also found dead in the same bedroom. Now, his death was listed in the reports as due to heart failure. But the doctor who filled out the report did not fail to note that every bone in his body was broken. Since then, the chateau has remained empty. Empty, that is, to the eye.